And so Mario came to learn the stupendous ability of flipping between dimensions. But there was no time to celebrate, Mario still had a pure heart to find. The trail ahead was overrun with savage beasts. Follow me, Tippy said as she flew towards the mountain that loomed ahead. The pure heart was hidden, away hidden somewhere on the other side. Chapter 1, 2! A foot in the foothills. Does not sound like it would smell good because the feet and stuff. I feel that the pure heart is beyond this mountain, but it's still far, far away. Something tells me you need to put that new skill of yours to use. And we will do that now! Hey guys and gals, I'm Pallid, welcome back to Super Paper Mario! Last time, we began the game! And did stuff, we completed a level and we earned this awesome flipping ability. No, we cannot flip people off, we can flip between dimensions! And this time, we're going to do that. Now, if I sound a little bit different, well, there are actually, oh, there are two reasons. The first, what, what, bro? Oh, there's one there. I didn't, I didn't see the- Oh, wow. They kind of gave him away. The first reason why I sound different is because I am using the Blue Yeti to- uh, And also, I hit the table there. I am using the Blue Yeti to record now, and I'm seeing how it will work out. And the second reason is because I am slightly sick. Yes, I, I'm recovering from a head cold of sorts, so I have some sinus stuff going on, so... I will be sounding a little bit different. Also, I didn't really investigate what was down there. I, I want to do that now. Wow. Okay, there's... That was, inf that was very fortunate. Speaking of fortunate, let's get a trick off of you and go back up. Snap. Back at the top, we can continue on. Now... Um, ah, there we go. Now, as we get going here, I would kind of like to apologize for the lateness. Not of this video, because me being sick actually didn't affect the schedule at all. But of the series itself, I didn't realize how long it had been since I released a video until I looked at the, uh, looked at all my videos and realized that it was actually, it, it was pretty long. So I apologize for that. There have been a lot of things going on right now. For example, I'm filming that uh, Five Nights at Freddy's production that I talked about for school. Uh, and I was also commissioned to film a wedding for money. So I've been making, I've been making bank off of that. Let's go through this door. So, yeah, I've been a bit busy recently. Uh, and so it's been inhibiting my ability to record, but thankfully I'm doing two videos now. That was kind of close. I'm doing two videos now a week, so, or two l Let's Play videos, and they're not really, the, the editing on them isn't that, that heavy. Uh, let's see, so I actually have to flip here in order to jump up on these objects, which are only vis visible when we have flipped between dimensions. It's it's quite cool how they, they designed levels around this mechanic. You have to constantly check, and like this, this is impossible to get up, get up to, unless you do this. Haha! -ha. It's awesome. It's it's pretty cool. It's a it's more than just a, fl a 3D platformer, because there are certain things that you just can't do. Oh, snap. I can get the, t the double thing. Can I get the double thing off that? No, I can't. Okay. Also, that was winged. So, my, my second attempt there was no indication. Okay, now these things are hard to get around. Unless you have the epic flipping abilities! In which case, you can see that they're just... They're actually like cardboard. Which is kind of sweet. Okay, let's go past them. I have enough meter to get through. I do. Awesome. And, ooh, that was... That could have been dangerous. Let's go through this door. Why did I point out the uh, the math problems in the background are pretty pretty sweet looking? I mean, you can see that they're using flowers and mushrooms from the Mario series to fill equations, and that just that's just kind of neat and kind of it it's cool level it's cool uh uh environment design. Okay, uh, let's see. We can go in here and actually. Uh, there's a switch right there, which I guess we could flip ourselves. Oh, we can. It won't budge. I guess not. Uh, but there, there are anime tears coming out of nothingness. And if we flip, we find that there is a red man with a stash. He's clearly ripping off our dew. We should kill him for that. Hey, hey, you can see me! 
Yes, I can. This is unbelievable. I've been freaking out here for days, and finally someone sees me. A couple of mornings ago, I roll out of, be roll out of the wrong side of bed. Ha! Ah! And once I get my coffee, I realize I'm stuck in some freaky parallel. It's actually perpendicular. It's not parallel. Learn your, uh, your geometry. I've been hollering and flailing around for days, but nobody could hear me or even see me. Just when I was starting to think I'd be here forever, I see you. You just blipped in here out of thin air. I was thinking, if you can do that, maybe I can hitch a ride back with you? Just stand next to me and flip back to 2D. I'll hold on. You gotta help me out. Oh, I talked to him again. Okay. Uh, flippity doo! Or flippity doo, zoom. I don't know. Whatever that guy said last episode. Whoa! We did it! I'm back to normal! Listen, you really bailed me out there. That 3D business was freaking me out! Name's Red. Nice to meet you. Say, uh, any way I can repay you? Actually, there is one thing. There's a huge chasm outside that we need to cross. So you want to cross the chasm, huh? Well, you found yourself the right guy. But hey, I've got to warn you. You know this place is called Impasse Pass, right? <laughs> That's... No, I didn't, but that is amazing. I, I have a feeling that I would have found that out if I had I read the sign. I'm only allowed to let a choice few across the bridge. It's in my job description. I mean, that's why they pay me to stand here. You sure you want to pass? Yes, uh, I do. Uh. Yeah, well, you did save me from being trapped in a parallel of the perpendicular dimension and all. Okay, I'm going to ask you a question. Get the right answer and I'll let you pass. Sound good? Here we go. What's the most manly color in the entire universe? Red or green? Or my personal choice, blue or purple or... I, you know what? Uh... <laughs> You know what, I'm going to be every single person in the society now and attempt to please both parties by saying both, which is incredibly bland. Also, it never works. What? Both? Also, political much? We can't have any wishy-washy types like you hanging around town. Wow, dude, I really wish you would, like, get up and speak in public for me. It is actually... It is kind of annoying how how many people are worried about offending other people. Like they say their personal belief, and they're like, "Well, not that there's anything wrong with the other other belief." It's like, no, just come on, just take a take a stand for what you believe in. But also, my whole political debate kind of uh kind of took away from the hilarity of what just happened. We answered wrong, and he punished us for us for it. So the most manly color in the universe. Well, we're both wearing red, so. I'll assume that we're manly and say red. Yes, you are so right. I knew it. You and me, we see eye to eye on fashion. I'll throw the bridge down. Hang on a sec. Why could he do that and we couldn't? What is special about him? He, we both wear mu wear mustache. But yeah, actually, that that's a term. We both wear mustaches and we both wear red. Like, does his spear just give him a magical ability? All right, you should be good to go. You take you take her easy. Thank you. Uh, I actually I have a feeling that there's something down here. I was wrong. I am. I know level design because that's where I would have put a secret. Let's go in and do. All right, let's go across impasse pass into a town. Okay, let, let's talk to you. Hey, stranger, where'd you blow in from? I'm going to sound weird if, I, if I'm if i wrong here, but are you the legendary hero? You are? Phew. I got three uh, I got three pointers I'm supposed to pass on to you. Ready? One, in trouble, flip. Two, something suspicious, flip. Three, feeling saucy. <laughs> flip. Feeling saucy. And there you go. Now you know. Uh, I feel really saucy after that. Wait, was this in normal world? I don't... Was it in normal world? It was. Oh, but I had a mushroom, so I can heal the one HP that I didn't have. Let's go in here. Good day! Good evening. Or is it morning? It's afternoon where I am, so good afternoon, kind, kind person. How's it? How are you? Good? Uh, yeah, yeah. How are you? Good? I see that you found my fine shop here in Yoltown. First time here, eh? I ought to tell you, 
We offer shop points here for our regular customers. You can earn shop points with every purchase. Limit is one point per every purchase. Earn, po earn enough and you'll win a free gift. Free stuff for free. That's good. Want to know just how many points you've saved up? Just ask me. You got that? Or do you want to hear my spiel again? I actually have got it. What do you need? Uh, let's buy. Go ahead and grab the item you want. They're all good. Sorry about the cut there, I just had to uh, take a break and cough. <laughs> you guys know my spiel back from Okami since that was like sick, the let's play. Uh, you know, clogged ears, partially deaf, the whole the whole works. Okay, I like Firebur I liked Fireburst when I used it last time. Uh, that could be useful. Let's get a Shrimp Shake, actually. 11 coins, I can afford that, right? Yeah, I have 60. Well, 60 now. Okay, what else could I get? Anything really good? What is this? Potent drink that briefly doubles your attack. E okay. Uh, that would give me defense and vault shroom. Seems fun. It's also a, a clever take on uh, stars, but I don't, I'm not really interested in it. Ooh, that that seems important, but it costs a lot. You know what? Let's get a fire burst and call it good. I don't really need that many items, at least not yet. No, 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 no. I don't need anything else. Good, goodbye. Okay. Awesome. What else is here? Can we just rummage through everyone's <laughs> everyone's house? Okay, apparently we can, and there's no repercussions from it. We can even walk on this guy's cup. And, uh, once again, no repercussions. Okay, let's talk to you. Thousands of years ago, a super advanced civilization lived in this area. We call them the Tribe of Ancients. I guess they built this town too. The mayor says there are secret tunnels and rooms in this town that they built. Look around real closely. You'll never know when there's a secret right around the corner. That makes me feel like there actually is something in this room. But there's not. But also, wait a minute, wait a minute, whoa, 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 whoa. He said corner. We just went around a corner, so if we flip... Wait, if we talk to you. I heard this juicy rumor. Apparently the hero knows a uh, secret dimensional technique. It uses it, flip, dimension, use is interesting things. The box looked weird. And there might be things behind them. There is. Also, there's a... Okay, I thought that was a card for an enemy, but it's actually just a washboard. Also, props to me for knowing what a washboard is in this... Actually, millennium. Okay, coins. Now, this is something she was talking about. And while I have played this game blind, I actually remember this from watching the one Let's Play that one time four years ago. These coins! There are a lot here. Now, if you were to not flip and collect them, you would have gotten a third as many because it actually would have consumed them in the per in the uh, perpendicular dimension. Dimension, dimension. So by me flipping there, I actually got three times as many coins. So it's pretty cool. Also, I have a scary memory when it comes to things like that. So that's that's all I wanted to say. Oh, are you a traveler? If so, are you carrying enough items that restore HP? You can buy more at House it, House It's shop here in the old town. You can even hold up at any extra items you don't want to hike around. I did not know that, but that is helpful. Thank you. Okay, this is an empty room, and actually, there, there's a pipe there. Ah, I see secrets and stuff. Uh, there are thwomps here, and we can get by them just by flipping. Once again, if we're feeling... If we're feeling, uh, uh, what was it? If we're feeling unsure, the flip. If we're not flip, where, however we're feeling, we should probably flip. Okay, there's a star here, and that, that's a door, hidden door. Now we should be able to get somewhere. I mean, we could have gone through this door and gotten somewhere, but whatever, I'll take it. Ooh. Oh. Uh-oh, the door. Now we're locked inside. Okay, I can't, I can barely not reach that, and there's nothing in 3D, okay, let's just flip and check out this chest, it's a nice chest, sweet freedom, 
Wait, wait, wait. I need, I need an appropriate voice for this guy that isn't one I've done before. Um, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. Um, you know what? Sure. <clears throat> <clears throat> wait a moment. If I've been set free, the legendary hero must have done it. I expressed concern when the ancient stuffed me in that chest 1,500 years ago. But it seems my fears were quite unfounded. The hero has finally arrived. Are you... a... a pixel? Why, yes, I am indeed a pixel. My name is Thoreau. You are a pixel as well? But you don't look familiar. Are you a newer model? I... well, I... um... No matter. Details do bore me. What is important is the fact that I have waited ages to lend my skill to the hero. And, glorious day, here you are. Do take me with you. You simply must. You will then. Smashing. Kind of a Vegeta voice, but, you know, you guys know all my vo voices are Dragon Ball characters, or Dragon Ball Z, or su Super... Not really, because that's only Japanese right now. The throwing pixel Thoreau has joined you. Use him to pick up and throw objects and enemies. You can even th th throw while you jump. With me at your side, one may grasp objects with great vigor. Simply press 1 to use my throwing ability. What's this 1 you say? You need not worry. The great being that watches us will know what that is. Just remember that I can grasp objects and enemies and hurl them with gusto. Grab something with 1 and press 1 again to throw it. Why not take a moment to get acquainted with my useful technique? You will need to use my ability to get out of this room. Ready, steady, go! Ha! He sure is! Handy! Ah! But hey, wait, wait, can I throw it up? No. Um. There we go, I just have to hit it from the side. Yeah, so we can throw things with thorough. Glorious day! Consider me at, fully at your disposal. Now, to adventure and beyond. And it was also really good that we found him in that room. You know why? Because while he is handy, we had to be thorough. Uh... I was going to excuse myself, but I, I said I was going to excuse myself. Wait, can we throw him? No, we can't. We can just make him sweat. I, I would excuse myself for the, those puns, but you guys know, I have Chugger Connor sim in Syndrome. I can't not do puns. Also, Super Paper Mario was kind of built for puns, considering that guy's name. So, yeah. Let's go around here, and without having to flip, we can just walk right around. Pretty, pretty handy. No, I'm not going to be reusing puns. There, Ryan and I talked about the rules for puns. And we, we decided that there is actually, while there are blacklisted puns, like punny, there is also a cooldown for specific puns. You cannot do certain puns in tandem. Yeah, it's true. Okay, let's talk to this guy. Who's it? I'm the elder around here, so watch it! What do you want? Get off my rug! Actually, we were hoping to pass through town. Nothing but desert passed through here, passed here. There's treasure, but you get grit in your grunders. That's what that's what here is for. The old town keeps the treasure safe from you. Watch it. Can't let you pass. See this little guy in my pocket? He's got something to tell you. You know what he says? Watch it. So give it up. Who was it? Was it you the hero? Toplins. If you were, you'd have a pixel that's shaped like a hand. If you add one, I might believe you're the hero, but you don't. Watch it! What is it? You do? Of course you do. You're the hero. Knew it all along. I'll give that green feller a call. He'll let you across. Hello, green. It's me. Watch it. I said watch it. Watch it! <laughs> watch it! I said watch it, not botch it. This hero feller wants to get across the bridge. Yes, I told him about the grit. Ah, yes. Let's just keep that between us. Just let the mustache guy through. Get off my rug and go talk green at the edge of town. Watch it! Well, it looks like I can finally retire because my job is done. When you're in that desert, keep a watchful eye out for some ruins. 
The treasure's out there. Nasty beast too. So watch it. You know what? You know what? I was gonna try to uh, make an awkward silence there, but that's old man. Watch it. He's the crotchety mayor of Yule Town. He's a descendant of the tribe of ancients. He also talks to his beard <laughs> and cane and stays current with the latest gadgets. That is the best. Thank you. Thank you, Tippy, for being amazing. He talks to his beard. <laughs> okay. Okay. This game is amazing. Let me talk to you. Hey, did you hear? There's talk of renaming Yold Town to Heroesburg. It's all because of this legend that the heroes will visit this town after saving the world. Well, we did it before. The heroes are coming here. Can you believe and believe it? Maybe we should put up a sign. Is this the sign? Let's find out. No crossing. Green. Bridge overseer. Okay, let's go through here. Also, I don't know what happens if you fall into the gorge. I feel like you'd just get an instant game over because this game would probably do that. But I'm not going to. To actually, wait a minute. Did I get on top of the, the buildings last episode? No, I didn't. I wasn't here last episode. Oh my goodness, I'm dumb. I believe you can get on top of the buildings. At least I did earlier. When I say earlier, I didn't practice this game, but I, I booted it up once because I couldn't wait for this Let's Play, and I played, like, up to this point right here. But also that whole memory thing, that thing was memory. I didn't actually do that in the, the so-called practice run. I got a call from old man, watch it! So you're that hero guy then, huh? Right on, I'll put the bridge across for you straight away! None of this flippity garbage that we had to do with, with ma red man. There you go! Mind if I ask you a question? Red or green, what's better? Well, uh, 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 uh green? Uh, hey, you're wearing red. I'm onto your lie, buddy. Well, we tried. We see, see, <laughs> see. This, I'm gonna be political again. This is what happens when you try to please everyone. <laughs> you get hurt. Okay, <laughs> I'll stop. <laughs> that was really political. Not. Yeah, it was it was more political than I am normally, but it it's also funny. So you know what? We got a boom boxer card. <laughs> uh, so, you know what? It's not that I don't like being. Oh, we're at the end of the level. I was actually gonna end the episode before we crossed the bridge. <laughs> yeah, but it's not even that I don't like not being political. It's just I don't know. I, that's not really who I am. But it's funny that I can make the analogies. And you know what? Let us cross this thing and hit the end of level because that is an episode. End of chapter with rainbows. No, I'm not going to be political with that too.